on Amazing Kitchen today, we'll be talking about something very unique. Blue pea flower, if you've never heard of it. It is a very common item in Southeast Asia. It is used in making rice, desserts, and most important, cocktail drinks, with or without alcohol. So today, I'll be talking about this, and I'll be showing you how to use it, as well as some of the benefits and side effects of taking blue pea flower. Okay, let's get into it. Now that you've seen how blue pea is used and how to extract the flavor and color from the flower, so let's talk a little bit about its benefit and side effects of it. Here I have a drink in front of me that is made with the blue pea flower and some lemon. So the lemon, the acidity changes the color of the blue pea flower from blue to this purple hue. If there's no acidity present, it will remain as blue. And it's very nice for families and friends to watch this change color in front of their eyes. And this is all totally natural. That's the beauty of it. So what I use is, this is a lemonade, but I made it with soda instead of normal uh, chilled water. But if you add some honey, the density of the liquid will increase. And most of the blue will remain on the top with a slight transition to purple. And it creates a nice effect and beautiful presentation. So let me give this a try and see how this is. Mm, a bit sour because I didn't add sugar to this, but I guess if you can add some sugar or honey to this, and they'll balance out that acidity very nicely. Okay, so let's talk about some of the benefits. It is a very, very good anti-inflammatory uh, remedy. So it's very good for your skin and scalp if you haven't known that already. And it is very good to boost your immune system, lower your cholesterol. So basically it's a lot of antioxidants in blue pea flower. It is also believed to help with your mood. So if you're a little down and depressed, maybe some blue pea flower will help you with that. Let's talk about some of the side effects. 
So if you're pregnant and expecting, so be very cautious having blue pea flower because it is believed that it may cause contraction in the uterus. And this may not be something you want if you're pregnant. But nonetheless, be very careful taking this. If you're unsure, maybe stay away from it. But nonetheless, it is very popular in Southeast Asia. If you come to Thailand or Singapore or Malaysia, you see a lot of this in the food and the desserts as well as drinks. So it's quite common. It's used by a, a vast majority of different cultures. So I guess to some extent, it's very safe to have. So enough of me talking. I hope you can uh, have fun with blue pea flour or if you can find it in your local break bakery supply shops, uh, then go ahead and make some. You can brew it or you can boil it in water and mix it with your drinks. It serves a nice party addition. All right, until next time, I guess uh, I'll see you again. Oh, remember to subscribe and hit the bell button. We'll see you in the next video. Bye now.